was a weird. It's like, by the way, this could have been a lot easier if you found this thing you didn't find. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, we've got. all there'll be, just two heads. Yep. Now we must face the right head. <laughs> Eat the Hydra, infinite head equals infinite food. <laughs> okay, so say this isn't a Hydra that grows its heads back. And we die here. Mm -hmm. The next adventure that comes along isn't going to know that it's Hydra if it only has one head. That's true. They're just going to think it's a weird snake slug thing. <laughs> oh, it hit us! Oh my god! We took damage! Oh no! Oh, that one's a draw. Oh, weird. Oh dear. Just had enough of our, our skill. <laughs> Our hubris. Oh, no. <laughs> Whew. That's a bit better. Like that, and we're good. Come on, us, we can do it. Yeah! yeah. Much more <laughs> like it. Four hits in a row. One more to go. We can do it. Yeah! We are triumphant! As the Hydra sinks down into the black mire, the marsh hopper takes flight, his treachery revealed. He runs off in great loping strides and is soon out of sight. There's nothing else to do except to trudge your way west. However, you've gone not more than a hundred metres when you notice turbulence in the water to your right. That infernal marsh hopper has led you into a section of the marsh seething with carnivorous life. Swimming quickly towards you is a giant water snake. And you must fight for your life in the marshlands yet again. Fight! Wait, wait. Oh! You must, fight. You must reduce your skill by two because of your tiredness. Oh my god. Can goodness. we take a pack thing right now before we fight? Yeah. Um, so that's in our adventure sheet, right? Yeah. Uh. It said the beard. Aha! Provisions and a potion of strength. So we want a provision? Yeah, let's. Uh, let's say, Snake, give us a second, I'm gonna have a snack. Yeah, let me just munch something a second. Oh. 
So we're back at 14. Hi. Do you want another then... one? Hmm. We have 10. Yeah, it's a lot. And honors and we're good. Sorry? If we keep behind the bananas, we're good. Yeah, that's true. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. You're um, roboting a little bit. Oh. Mm. I can do. Don't worry about it. It's just I live in the countryside. Ah, fair. Well, you, you seem to have stopped roboting at least. It keeps. Okay. So, we re are we ready to fight? So? Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna have another snack. Oh we? yeah, eat another snack. Yeah, back up to full. Tuck that away for later. I don't know what we're worried about. Yeah. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah. It's just a water snake after all. Look at us go. Oh, but next thing you know, it's going to be. Oh, you're even more tired, and here comes a giant snapping turtle. <laughs> We are triumphant! Off to page 49. You sheath your sword and set off west again. Gradually, the ground becomes firmer underfoot, and soon you are out of the water and working, walking across a muddy plain. Ahead, you see two hills, and you decide to walk towards the gorge dividing them. The ground... Oh. Yeah, no choice. <laughs> The ground rises and you're at last away from the difficult terrain. The jungle and marsh are behind you. Grass and flowers m make the island appear lush and beautiful, but you cannot afford to relax. It is not long before you reach the gorge and see th that it runs between several hills in a westerly direction. If you wish to walk down the gorge, turn to 40. If you'd rather cl climb the hill to your right, turn to page 194. Not allowed up the one to the left. Forget the, the hill to the left. <laughs> Put it out of your mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um. Climbing would be tiring, but we'd get a very good view. Things live in the gorge, right? Yeah. That's where I'd lurk, if I could. <laughs> We've got climb every mountain in chat. Should we climb the hill then? Yeah, I think so. Hey, what's <laughs> going to be up there? Giant birds or? <laughs> oh, a hill giants. You walk along the side of the hill following the route of the gorge. Looking over to the hill on the far side of the gorge, you suddenly see a landslide start sending rocks and boulders crashing into the gorge. Although you are not enjoying the tiring climb, you are relieved that you are not in the gorge. You gain one lock point. If you still wish to walk along the side of the hill above the gorge, turn to 83. If you now wish to risk walking down, turn to 382. Oh, that's, that's an odd question that you ask that book. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'd rather keep stick to the hill. 
because we hadn't considered rocks falling and us just dying as, as an option. I had, actually. <laughs> I considered things throwing rocks from above. Ah. Um, yeah, let's go find out what made the rock slide. Yeah. The side of the hill is quite steep and you lose your footing on some scree. You tumble over and slide down the hill. Test your luck. Okay. Well, we just gained a luck point. It's true. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh. Oh, we, we didn't gain a luck point. Oh, well, um, our luck goes down every time we test it, I think. Oh. Because if I go on to... Oh, well. Oh. Yeah, it's gone back down to six again. Off the 281. Gathering momentum, you cannot stop yourself from rolling over and over into the gorge below. You land heavily with a sickening thump and lose two stamina points. Are you still alive? Oops. That's not so bad. If you still have stamina left, yeah, we're fine. It's just like Cheddar Gorge. <laughs> <laughs> you stand up, dust yourself off, and walk. D decide to walk down the gorge. I mean, yeah, I guess we're here now. <laughs> we, we made that decision accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> In the fine sand on the ground, you notice traces of old footprints leading out of the gorge. This, they end abruptly in front of you, and there are signs of a struggle. Two pairs of footprints lead back down the gorge, and with two straight lines behind them, so their owners have, have dragged a body behind them. As you follow the trail of footprints, you catch sight of a shiny object in the sand. You prod it with your foot and see an oval snuff box made of brass. Picking it up, you see it has a hinged lid. Do we want to open the snuff box, or do we want to throw it back into the dust and keep following the footprints? Mm? This is the most important snuff box in my existence. <laughs> Open it up, have an Aussie inside. Yeah. Inside the snuff box, you find a small gold nugget and a piece of paper with a message scrawled in charcoal, which reads If you're reading if this. If you are reading this, oh. it will mean that I have failed in my. I attempt to escape from the slave mines of the Lizard King. My raft is hidden beyond the gorge where the plain meets the river. If you are here to help us, please follow the river upstream until you see the mud huts. The slave mines are nearby, but beware the Lizard Man guards. You fold up the piece of paper, put it in your pocket together with a gold nugget, and continue to follow the footprints. That was a great choice. Mm-hmm. Most important snuff box, box in the world. Very And useful. we have gold. Okay, so we've got oh, yeah. gold, iron, and a brass snuff box. Iron. It's going to go great in my periodic table. <laughs> Collect them all. Mm -hmm. Alright. Shall we continue?